All right, so I'm getting started here with Miss Gypsy. So a few things to start is um, leash tension, okay? That's the first thing I want you to start with. I don't want you to be, come here. I don't want you to be tense on the leash. I don't want you to feel nervous. What I need you to do with working with her is keep it loose and keep things moving, okay? You can even do this in your front door. You have such a large front door and the, and, uh, the, wind, the office window is so large, you can have her moving back and forth. So we're gonna start out here, but I'm gonna show you inside what I want you to be doing. So first, simple stuff, simple walking, going backwards, going forwards. We just need her to feel loose. Movement for dogs is going to be the first and best thing to help with reactivity. Now, on the other hand, come on. Dogs on leashes have more tendency to get riled up. So it is definitely a incongruency sometimes if a dog is walking and if a dog is on a leash, or if a dog is walking on a leash and the other one isn't. Like for example, today, a, a dog that was off leash ran up to my dog and did not make my dogs happy one bit. So they got upset. So what she needs is exposure. She needs movement. So what I do to start with dogs is I just get them in social settings like this with Calvin. You see, he's very easy, very low, oh, <laughs> low threshold dog. What I mean by low threshold is he doesn't vibrate like that, like she does when she gets tense, okay? I want her to have coping mechanisms to move through it. Think about us. Think about us as people. I go on walks a lot to clear my head, to clear anxiety, all that sort of stuff. That's what we need with her. She doesn't need to be stuck in front of one thing so what i'm working on is if she's getting over threshold which is what we're seeing that's what we call it we need to get her lower and teach her that regulation just like we do with our kiddos just like we do with ourselves i have to learn how to self-regulate my excitedness just like katie when i was telling you about like honking at people i was like eh, maybe that's not worth it we wanted to teach her to take that breath okay so, you know, it, it's exposure, it's that kind of stuff, and it's movement right here. So you see her here with Calvin. Come here, Cal. Okay. So see? Good girl. We want her to feel relaxed. We want her to feel like that she can be herself, that she can feel confidence. So that's what I'm doing with her. I want to fill her with so much confidence. And what you don't want her to do is like that. Give that a little rewind. You don't want her to get into that hard stare. So what I want to do with her, come on, is make sure that I have patience, make sure we're going at and recognizing her pace, and make sure that we, as a dog handler, have good communication with our babies here. Good movement. Good, good movement is what we need. Okay. Come on. All right, so I'm going to bring up some other guys here. Come on. Come on, Archie, spark. All right, so I think we're actually going to be moving inside because none of the dogs want to. At least the little guys that I want to work with her. Come on. Okay, no. All right, so stick with me. Oh! Right, so we are gonna move right over here to the front area of my home. We actually need to close this door. Oh, come on. There we go, the craziness is over. All right. I want, what I need to do is I needed to uh, get her working in here around the other dogs. Okay. All right, we're gonna need to move over here. That's what these guys are. So this is really just the hard part of this. It's just staging. So I need her just moving through. Look how loose my arm is. Good. There we go. So I definitely wanna set her up for, for succeed. See how he wouldn't take it? He's nervous. 
He's a little nervous around her, and I get it. He's not, he doesn't, he's like, such a sweetheart. I'm not saying that she's not, but he's just nervous, Mr. Archie here. So essentially, you know, what I really try to teach people, oh, sorry, sweetie, the main thing, this isn't really working the way that I wanted it to, so let's just go right over here. So the main thing I really try to teach people is not to show you, uh, first I wanna show you that your dog can do it, but I take things further and I wanna make sure that you guys can do all this stuff here. Because I can show you all the stuff all the live long day, but I want you guys to have a good acumen for it. So let's just kind of take it back, work simply, okay? So first things first, what I need to do with her is to get you guys, like I showed you outside, movement, going backwards, going backwards, going forwards, going up, going backwards with her, going forwards, good. And then really utilizing, capturing eye contact. And that can be used with treats, that can be used with a good girl, all that kind of stuff right there works great. So she knows here that she is not allowed to do that. Now, if she's not allowed to go after Miss Maple here, but if she got the opportunity, she probably would if she made her upset enough, okay? Archie Spark, come here. Give me one, one second, guys. Not bad enough. So my thing is, and what I want to encourage you guys to do, is to leave well enough alone sometimes, but I want you to put your best foot forward when it comes to working with her. And so that means with me, we need to go somewhere. We need to go in person. I'm gonna try, try to test this out maybe tomorrow. Get her moving outside on a, um, on like a you know shopping center or something like that. Uh, excuse me one second, I'm gonna get my dog. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so, you know, it, it doesn't look like much right now, but the exposure is important. And the big things, come here. So she's like, take me to the front, take me to the front. Take me to the, take me out front, take me out front. Let's go over here. Oh, 